Sicario, Day of the Soldado, is not directed by Denis Villeneuve like the first one was, but it does return Benicio Del Toro and Josh Brolin, who are teaming up once again to stop cartels from bringing terrorists inside the U.S. When hearing that they were going to do a sequel to Sicario, my expectations were set relatively low because I thought the first Sicario was very pulse-pounding, very suspenseful. Roger Deakins had a touch on that movie, and it was just a really great movie. So I was sad to see that the director was not returning, and, and I was just thinking, why do we need a sequel for Sicario? Walking out of Sicario, Day of the Soldado, I thought that this movie was really great. It's not the first Sicario, and you feel like the touch that Roger Deakins and Denis Villeneuve had in the first film is missing from the second film but this movie does build upon the first movie with its characters and um, the morals. What I like most about the second Sicario movie is definitely these characters. I enjoyed watching them in the first one as they are trying to help out their government but they do it in their own way and they aren't afraid to get down and dirty and that's why people hire them because they are dirty and watching them in the first one and watching them in the second one now I really enjoy watching these characters and what I appreciated about the second movie is that it proposed these challenging dilemmas for these characters that really tested their morals and it really allowed for you to understand these characters and the chemistry between Benicio Del Toro and Josh Brolin is excellent once again but I love seeing these characters tested because they were so interesting in the first film and I was excited to see them once again and they're even more ruthless than they were in the first film. The first Sicario movie did a great job of building suspense without having it being grand and flashy. So many moments I remember from Sicario being very pulse pounding, especially on next to the border and the dinner scene at the end. The way that this film was shot and edited was so perfect that it added that level of suspense to it. Here in Sicario 2, I, I feel like it's missing some suspenseful moments. You know just by the score and how it is edited that something is going to happen. You're anticipating that something is going to go down. And I do think that the score is very deep and it's terrific. There weren't many scenes in Sicario 2 that I found to be outstanding and made me look at the movie and goes, wow, that's a really great shot they just did there. Because I feel like Roger... Because Roger Deakins teamed up with, because the two people, because the first film was filmed so excellent that the second one is missing those moments of suspense. Yes, the action scenes are really great, but it is lacking those moments of great suspense and really being drawn into the movie. I watched the first Sakari movie the other day and I leaned forward every time something was about to happen and how the score was really low and the shots, everything about it just captured that intensity level. Sicario de la Soldado did not capture that intensity very well. The action scenes were great and really investing, but some parts were not as suspenseful as I hoped they to be. Overall, the second Sicario movie was great. I thought that the story was more gripping than the first film. It challenged the characters and their morals, and I thought it had a really great pace to it and an ending that I was not expecting. The acting is great once again, and the directing kind of feels like it's lacking some suspenseful moments. The score is really great. It's not the first Sicario movie, but it's still a terrific film. I'm going to go ahead and give Sicario, Day of the Soldado, a A-. What did you guys think of the new Sicario film compared to the first film? I think that Taylor Sheridan did a great job writing this movie. I love Taylor Sheridan as a writer. He wrote and directed Wind River last year, which one of my favorite movies of that year. Hell or High Water also was written by him as well as Sicario. He is a great writer and I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Leave your thoughts down below for Sicario 2. And, and this movie does set it up for a third film and I do think they already plan to have a third film to complete a trilogy. Thank you guys for watching my review for Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Make sure to stay tuned this weekend for reviews for Uncle Drew and a new Netflix original film. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.